First John chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. Let us love one another, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. I think everyone would agree that love is important to both physical and emotional development. We would also agree that love or the withholding of love is a choice. St. Paul tells us about love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7, where we read, Love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, love is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. We trust those we love, but there is always the possibility that they may betray us. God, on the other hand, can be totally trusted, and there isn't any possibility that he will betray us. Like a good parent, God redirects us when we lose our way. Like a good parent, God disciplines us not out of anger or vengeance, but out of love for us. Matthew 10.30 tells us, He loves us so much he knows everything about us, even the number of hairs on our head. Yes, love is a choice, which is backed up by action. We naturally do what we can to improve the life of those that we love. Imagine loving someone so much that you are willing to allow your only child to die in order to prove your love. Abraham was willing to sacrifice his only son Isaac because he loved and trusted God enough to do anything God asked. But isn't that exactly what God did for us? He allowed his son to die in the most humbling way. John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Yet we humans find it difficult to accept God's unconditional love because we can't, on a regular basis, seem to find that same type of love within us. How can you pass on to others what you do not have? That's not an excuse, it's a challenge. Find someone today, not tomorrow, but today, and perform an act of love on their behalf and expect nothing in return.